All right, now most of us use Google search application to search the information on our phone. Now we've got this Google search bar here. When I tap on this Google uh, logo here, it opens up the Google page where I can search the information and we've got all the other uh, news and other sports information right here at the bottom. Now uh, this app has got a brand new feature which is gonna change the way we browse information on uh, this search engine. Now you can see on the top left corner, we've got this brand new icon here. I'll just tap on this. Now here it says SGE Generative AI in Search. So basically Google has integrated AI in Search. Now this SGE is nothing but Search Generative Experience. It says supercharge your search to find what you're looking for in faster, easier ways. Get AI powered overviews to quickly get the idea of a topic and easily follow up. Let AI do the heavy lifting for you. Now this is gonna change the way we search the information on a Google search engine. Now let me just show you an example. It says try an example. I'll tap on this. As you can see in this example, the question which is asked is how to reach my first 5K followers on YouTube. The moment you search the information on the top, you'll get this option, get an AI powered overview for this search. I got this button generate. When I tap on this, the AI is going to generate an answer for the question that I've asked. Now you can see very briefly, we have got all the answers right here. To reach your first 5,000 followers on YouTube, you can try these strategies. We have got these pointers here, and then we have got ask a follow-up option also. We have got a few more questions here. Does YouTube give money for 11,000 subscribers, etc.? So all these questions can be followed up by tapping on these questions. So the AI is doing its job right here. Uh, and it is making the search seamless. And it's very easy to get the information now. We don't really have to go to each website here. Generally, when we search for something, uh, we get these website search results, uh, like Wikipedia, Quora, or any other uh, websites, or some YouTube videos, and all these information, all these uh, uh, websites and the channels we need to go to, to get the information. But now, with this AI integration, uh, it collates all the information from different sources, and it is going to generate the results quickly which is very easy to understand. Now let's search something else here. Let me search Audi Q3 on-road price. As you can see, we have got this option, get an AI powered overview for the search. I can tap on generate. Now I don't really have to go to these different websites which are shown at the bottom to check the prices. When I tap on generate, it's going to give me a brief. As you can see, it says the on-road price of an Audi Q3 in Bangalore starts at a so-and-so price. The price range of an Audi Q3 depends on the variant you selected, blah, blah, blah. So all these information are available right here on the top. And we can also uh, check out the websites from which the AI has generated these results. And we have got this follow-up options right here at the bottom. Now this feature, the AI integration may not work for all the information that you're asking on Google. Now let's say I'm going to ask a question like who will win US election 2024 it is not going to give me the uh, ai generated results here uh, let me search for uh, let me just type us election 2024 let me not ask anything again you can see uh, we don't get the ai generated results here if i search for weather it is just going to give me all the weather related information here now if i search for best dash cam for cars uh, let's see whether it's going to give me the results now again here uh, the ai is not working it is just taking me to these websites so uh, this is still an experimental feature it is not perfect yet Yet. it is still learning uh, so it has got a long way to go so maybe in the future AI will be able to give us everything that we search on Google now this is a great feature now this may not be available on all the devices uh, like if for example if I uh, look at this fold uh, phone I've got the same Google account when I tap on Google search here I don't see this uh, AI option on the top left corner uh, however on uh, the other uh, couple of phones that I have the same Google account I've got there as well and I'm able to see this particular item icon on the top left corner. So if you're not seeing it, just go ahead and update your application. Currently, I'm on Google uh, beta app, uh, but even on the stable applications, I've seen this icon popping up. So uh, you can check yourself and see if you have the icon here or not. To check this, you need to tap on this icon on the search bar that you have, or you can uh, go directly to Google application where you will see this particular page on the top left corner, you should be able to see this icon. Now, this is a very cool feature which Google has integrated into the Google search engine and this will be very very helpful uh, to search the information on Google because uh, we don't really have to go into each and every website in the search results to get the info the AI is going to do the job for us and we get the information required briefly right on top of the result that's about it that's all I want to share with you guys if you like this information go ahead hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to know your phone better thanks for watching my name is Salyan signing off
Cheers. Bye-bye.